12.50 on Friday afternoon, stormy start to the day, but even so is a fast mover. So while we got uh, a burst of heavy snow early in the morning, uh, we started to see the clouds break up a little bit around sunrise, and that made for some beautiful views. In fact, this one uh, sent into Utah's Weather Authority Facebook group from the south end of Antelope Island, looking toward the Ochre Mountains in the south, uh, a view we don't often see. Now this morning, uh, we have had some snow showers over the higher terrain of southern Utah. More are possible, although they're gradually tapering off. Most of the clouds lingering over the central part of the state, but in general, fair skies across much of the south and becoming that way over northwest Utah with clouds and showers stacked up along and over the higher terrain of the north. We've even had a few of those uh, light to moderate showers across parts of Cache Valley, eastern Box Elder County, farther south into Davis County. We've had some heavy snow with some lake effect uh, that's letting up a little bit, although not entirely, and then some lighter showers on the east side of the Salt Lake Valley as well as southern Utah County and the green indicating warm enough some of that mixed in with a little bit of rain. Now overall we've got temperatures right now ranging from mid 20s at Evanston to low 50s in St. George. It's 35 in Salt Lake just a couple degrees higher than our low temperature earlier today of 33. So it's going to stay chilly, stay snowy off and on, but from this point on, mainly minor accumulations. There could be another several inches of snow in the northern mountains, an inch or two possible over the higher terrain of central Utah. The valleys in the north will, in general, potentially get up to another inch, but possibly more than that with any of those areas of lake effect. So just something to keep in mind, even though snow showers should be decreasing this evening, there is a slight chance they could impact the drive home for some of you. Temperature in Salt Lake will be 37. We'll see the sunshine peeking through at times, but in general, mostly cloudy in the north, mostly sunny over much of the south, mid 40s in Moab this afternoon, and in St. George, you'll be hovering in the mid 50s. And then tonight, uh, the snow showers, or at least what's left of them, will be tapering off, and cloud cover will be thinning out as well, so be clearing off by tomorrow morning, uh, with the temperature going into a free fall. In fact, all the way down to 24 in Salt Lake, down into the single digits along the Wasatch back. Teens in a lot of the Central Valleys, 27 expected in St. George. Another bump in the road could be more lake effect. Again, today that would mainly be in Davis and Weber counties, but overnight we might get some initially on the west side of the Salt Lake excuse me, east side of the Salt Lake Valley, and then that would gradually shift west over into Tooele Valley if it does develop, but we might have to deal with that snow tomorrow. And with temperatures as low as they'll be, that means uh, there could potentially be some slick roads if you're heading out early. Otherwise, in St. George, it's going to be sunny, warming up near 50 this weekend and feeling a little bit better next week. We'll make it back into the mid to upper 50s, even though those mornings stay pretty chilly. And in Salt Lake City, it's going to be sunny tomorrow, but it'll look a lot better than it feels. We'll only peak at 34. After a cold start on Sunday, it looks like we'll make it back into the low 40s, which is our average high temperature for this time of year, or at least pretty close to that. And it looks like more of the same through most of next week.